What is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to a brand new video in Spin Tires Mudrunner where today we are going to be finding out which one of these Nissan Titans is the ultimate Nissan Titan XD. Now we're going from the left which is basically a conversion of a uh the the titan warrior concept as it would have just as it would have come from nissan secondly in the middle is a sort of a mildly lifted version by frog and the one on the end the mud truck version is also by frog he does have a third version which is a rear steer version of the mud truck but i didn't include that one in this uh, particular video because i didn't feel like it really it really fit the idea of what i was trying to do here i mean it would kind of not really have that much of a point to have two mud trucks. I mean, a rear steer doesn't really affect the performance of a truck here at Truck Night all that much. So, I wanted to include sort of like the small, medium, and large boy. And from there, we are going to start with the standard Titan Warrior concept. Which means, hey, we're already in it. Wow, actually, that's kind of surprising to me. But... We're going to go ahead and make a run in this truck, then we're going to go ahead and make a run in the mildly lifted one, and then we're going to make a run in the mud one to see the difference in performance between all three of these trucks. So let's set off in the standard one. And yes, I know it's really it's really a concept truck, and I can't really call it standard, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to be referring to this truck as the standard model. Ooh, come on! Wow, all right. It can't really do high in the mud at all. It it cannot do it. It's it is not down for it. Oh my god, are you serious? Dude, it got hung up bad there for a minute. Like really, really bad. I'm that that was actually quite sketch. Quite sketch. Alright, this thing has a really, really bad, um, a really, really bad approach angle, so, well, not really, really bad, but bad enough that it's probably gonna be a problem here. Oh my god, yeah, it's not even gonna climb that first obstacle, it's just gonna dig in. Holy cow, it's just gonna dig in. Well, finally! Now, can we get the next tire up, is the next question. Wow, it didn't want to do it. That... That's actually kind of surprising. I figured it would want to do it, but no. Wow. Ah, it's getting hung up on these distribution rocks. Come on. Nope. Dude, this thing is doing a awful job. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, made it through there. So this thing is on somewhat of a good run. Dude, it even, like, got stuck diving into this mud and high it this thing is programmed to hate mud and when i say hate mud i mean literally like programmed to despise it it's not even really it wouldn't even make any difference to um to put it in high right now because that's just going to make it perform worse so i'm going to leave it to low three and just kind of ease it along from there so far, we're doing okay. We're actually doing better than I expected to do. I'm kind of at about half throttle right now. Half throttle with, like, minimal inputs. Easy does it. There she goes. Wow. Okay, so it did a much better job at that than I originally thought it was going to. This thing has actually already far outdone my expectations because I didn't think that it would even get this far. I thought that mud that we just came through uh, during the towing portion of the challenge was where it was going to get tripped up. But with the hidden rocks in this water, I have a feeling that if there's going to be one obstacle that kills it, it's going to be this. Surprisingly enough, though, we haven't even remotely slowed down yet, which is pretty damn surprising. Come on, Titan! Let's go! Wow! All right! I mean, y'all see the look of surprise on my face! Come on! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Uh, I don't know if it's gonna do it! There it goes! Alright, alright! I see you! 
All right, Titan, I see you. Let's go and let the F-150 go and get into the rock crawling part. All right, rock crawling section now. Now, obviously, the suspension is a little bit stiff, and the approach and departure angles are not optimal, but if we're very, very, very careful, we might be able to make it work. Yeah, I'm not so sure yet. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Just trying to get it turned around, man. Here we go. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Bro, you've got to be kidding me. It mm, It's just digging into the ground, man. There we go. Yeah, we have to take these odd routes uh, to get through the rock section because it basically is physically incapable of attacking them head on. So, um, we're a little twisted up. As y'all could see. Uh, sketchy boy. Yeah, total sketchy boy. All right, there we go. Just had to kind of get the, um, the left rear wheel off that ledge that it was hanging on. Trying not to high center before going up. Uh, never mind. This is, and it's not even that we high centered, it's that we got caught on the bumper. Easy does it. Diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. There we go. And back the other way. It has to... You have to do it diagonally in this truck. Otherwise, it can't do it. I just find that so hilarious because I'm so used to just bombing through here. We might actually need to hit this in high, and I don't even know if this truck's capable of that. Well, it's certainly capable of getting up into gear. I just don't know if it can actually use that to its advantage. To its advantage. Oh, oh man. You know, it's... Don't you do it! Oh! Well, that's where that Titan stays. All right, now... We have Frog's lifted Titan XD. Not the mud truck, but just the lifted one. Now, this thing does have a cool trick up its sleeve, though. Adjustable suspension. So you can go as far down as basically tucking the tires and as far up as, like, being a coil-over crawler. So what I kind of did was set it somewhere in the middle, and I'm going to leave it there, and we're going to go ahead and take off. Big yeet. So yeah, slightly better mud performance out of this one. Slightly better. Don't mind me, I'm just raising the front of my truck. Oh, there we go. And it stayed in high and let me do that. That's insane. Oh, the collision axles though. So, if you do hook on a rock, you're hooked. So, you really have to watch out for that. Being that these trucks have collision axles, it's something that you really have to pay attention to. Because they can get, a, like, get caught on the diff on a rock. But, my God, is it amazing to be able to actually go through mud without just, like, bogging out and, ba that, like, bogging out and dying. All right, get hooked up, switch to pole, and let's go! First of all, let me back up and give it a good yank. All right, full on. I'm not lifting. I am not lifting at all. 
Past the halfway mark. Wow. Okay, so it just rampaged through that. No problem. And big jump. Come on. Oh, will it make it through and high or will it bog out? Will it make it through or will it bog out? Come on. Just feathering it. Just feathering it. Trying to get it there. Trying to get it to that edge. Are we going? Oh. I don't want to have to pull it out of gear. Come on. Yes! Yes! Come on! Go! Oh, there it is! Oh my god! Alright, well that... That was properly exciting. Oh my god! Alright, well... Alright, this thing's doing awesome. I am absolutely loving this thing. Alright, now for the rock section. As you can already see, this thing has way more flex than the other version did. The, the, the pretty much stock version. Still does drag its bumpers, though. I mean, it's really hard to get around that. It's really hard to get around those angles. Really hard to get around those angles. Up and over. And I was going to say, yeah, it should be able to easily get up and over that, that hill. And up and over the next one. Balance bridge section. All right, go, 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 go. I always like to just kind of basically bomb my way into the first one and see if I can do anything crazy from there. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Okay, I was about to say, if it's going to be like, if it's going to be completely stuck there. Oh, you're kidding me. This is like the perfect storm of a wheelbase. Oh, this wheelbase sucks. It doesn't, well, it's not the wheelbase's fault. Well, it, kind of it. Woo! Oh, collision axles are weird. Collision axles do weird things sometimes. You know what? I don't care if it's cheating or not. <laughs> I'm gonna... Oh, wait. Come on, go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Is that as far up as you go? Oof. That might be as far up as it goes. Ouch. Ouch. Wow, that really is as far up as it goes. Ouch. Yikes. All right, and we are out of here. That is as far up as it goes for sure. All right, well, made it to the end in the in the lifted Titan XD, which looks goofy because it's not wide. But anyway, now we're going to have a run in the mud truck, and the mud truck is probably just going to be nasty. So let's go ahead and get it started up. And raise it up. There we go. Yeah, now it's in. Now it's now it's in the mode it needs to be in. Holy crap, it's so tall. All right, let's get it. Okay, yeah, this one's quick. <laughs> Make short work of the mud. Oh, my God. Whoa. I don't know what that was. Probably... Something to do with collision axles. I'm not going to question it. I'm going to move on from there and straight up not question it. Approach and departure angle shouldn't really be a problem now because we're just that far off the ground. Who knows? It may eventually become a problem. Well, not there. That was one of the places that I was worried about it becoming a problem. All right. Switch to pull, and get it. Just yank that thing out. Oh, my God. Well, 
It certainly got enough suspension give. Wow, it made short work of the water. Holy crap, the water section was like over and done with in no time at all, dude. Okay, releasing that. 100% releasing that. Cruising through here in automatic. Still hitting the bumpers though. That's the hilarious part to me is that it's still hitting the freaking bumpers. Now this is the part I'm kind of worried about. Well, it's, oh no, it was fine. And then, oh man. And if it glitches, the collision axles are going to have a, they're going to have a bad time. Yeah, if the tires glitch through, the collision axles are going to have a really bad time. And it's just wide enough that it's a problem. Uh, mm. It's like you have, you, you get one, like one inch of, of travel on either side. And if you don't stay within that, it's like, nope, you're done. So you know what that means? Well, or you may not know what that means. Regardless, we're going to see if we can actually, uh, I might void out this thing's run just because it, like, we didn't really drive across the bridge. But as you can see with the collision axles, they, oh no. Oh no. Oh, we've really gone and oofed it now. Oh, that's bad. All right. All right. Shutting the truck down. Nothing to see here. This is a glitched out mess. Not the truck. The truck's not a glitched out mess, but the thing we've gotten it into is a glitched out mess. But overall, I think what we've determined is the stock one is very meh. The lifted one is actually quite good, minus the angles um, of approach and departure. And the mud truck is completely OP, minus the bridge, which it kind of, can, well, it can do, but it's like the margin for error is so small. Like, it's so ridiculously small. But if you guys enjoyed that comparison, let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. Leave your suggestions and requests down there as well. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to y'all later.